on YouTube, it's D-Rock back with a quick video. Uh, today I'm just going to be doing a quick, quick um, review, kind of tutorial um, about people that have questions about once they root their Galaxy Note, what do they do next, how do they install a custom ROM. Uh, I just learned this a couple days ago, so I'm not going to front and act like I'm an expert. But I know that once I did root my phone, I kind of had no idea where to go next what to do next and it was hard to find information so once your phone is rooted you, I had to sprint uh, Galaxy Note 3 and there's only two ROMs I believe as of right now the ROM I'm using as you can see is uh, Jelly Bomb Domination shout out to Max from Galaxy Note 3 root or Android root I'm not too sure of his name I think his name is Max though I learned all my shit from him so what you're going to want to do, you're going to have to install, let me try to get a better view on this, a TWRP manager. You have to have a custom recovery on your phone before you can flash a ROM to it. So once you install this, when you reboot your phone, when you restart it into recovery mode, this will pop up. Once this pops up... You have to have the Jelly Bomb ROM. It's a zip file. You can download it from galaxynote3root.com. You have to have that zip file installed on your SD card. Don't unzip it. Just put it on your SD card. Then you're going to go to install. And then you will go down to your SD card. <coughs> and it will be there. It will say Jelly Bomb ROM. And then you install it. And that's pretty much it. Before you install it, actually, you might want to wipe uh, wipe your cache, your Dalvik, and that's it. You don't have to do a factory reset for a Jelly Bomb ROM, because it is a Sprint. Um, it's kind of stock ROM, I think. I'm not too sure. But, um, yeah, I like this. Uh, this ROM is pretty cool, man. It's got a lot of fucking features. The heart of the ROM is right here. You can adjust your CPU, you can um, obviously battery calibration, you can make the battery last longer, you can add different apps to your pen window, you can flash um, the torch settings, battery saver, call recorder, there's just so, you can make your volume louder, and it's pretty much black and blue, the theme. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If anybody ever has questions, man... I know I'm not as professional as most of these other cats out here, but I'm just trying to help people out, man. So, once you uh, try it out, if you have any, if you can't do it, if you have any problems, just send me a message. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, like I said, this is the Sprint Note 3. You have to make sure that you have the right ROM for your right device. Don't try to flash a ROM for a T-Mobile device on your sprint phone because you can go into a boot loop you can even worse maybe brick your phone but yeah shout out to galaxy no 3 rootcom man max this is the dude that this is the actually the other rom bunzai rom but i actually heard that that wasn't that good so i went ahead and used uh... jelly bomb domination alright thank you for watching See you later.